Good morning, this is going to be a vlog today, so I have a few things to do. I'm mostly going to be editing for today, but I also have a run to do and I also have GA training later. I don't know what else to say really. I'm going to give you a quick little update into what's happening in my life while I eat my two soggy Weetabix and have my coffee in a Minecraft mug. So the situation is, I'm playing GA this year. This is just where I am at life now, okay? Basically, I haven't given up the running, but like I can't rattle my love for GA, like I love hurling football. Great thing to look forward to every week and it's a great thing to keep you connected with people just still love the game i love matches and everything like that i'm gonna give it my all for the year because i know next year me and emma are moving to europe somewhere i don't know hopefully amsterdam but like it's probably too expensive but we're moving over and we're gonna be living there for a few years I'm not gonna be playing ga over there i'm gonna be running full or full time i'm gonna be running over there isn't gonna be all running so i have to adapt to the ga but the one thing about the ga now is that i'm just so weak after all the two years of running and no strength and conditioning i'm so weak literally all it takes is you to like plant your pinky toe anywhere and you're i'm just not getting past you you know yeah, i'm gonna take you through what i do most days yeah i'll take you along with me anyway i've got a busy enough day ahead of me i don't usually do this but i'm just gonna write down what i have to do because i have a few shit to edit i have a few shit to upload as well but i'm also making this vlog so that kind of confuses everything really just to just to make sure what i'm doing i'd be completely lying to you if i said i did this every day uh, i don't as i said before i have to basically make sure i'm doing the best i can for this sport every day you know being physically and mentally ready for matches and training and giving being able to give everything at training We got the first draft of this video done. It's basically just a video about my running journey and how I started and why it started and all that. That's basically what I spend my days doing. I either edit videos I make or I edit videos for other people, that kind of way. My whole process is I cut up the video first, obviously. Then I do one layer of edit, it takes like a day. That was the longest part. Then I do another layer of edit, which I'm gonna do now, which should only take me like two or three hours. Then I do another layer of effects, which only should take like half an hour. Then I throw music and all that stuff on top of it. But yeah, she's looking good. I have another video to upload today i'm trying to make this a daily thing all right cool the video is just about done this is the intro i went completely off the rails putting on a lot of weight that's all I'm going to show because I don't want to spoil it because that will be coming out soon enough. All in all, any kind of big edited video will probably take about two days and it's just taking around then. It is now 20 past 12. I'm going to go down and have my lunch and I'm going to go for a walk. Days when I'm just sitting down at the desk, I have to like try and get out and go for a walk because my back would be in bits, which is it's starting to get sore now already. All right, here's the plan. We're gonna make a nice, dirty little egg sandwich now. Hurling training's at nine. But before then, I still have to puck today, which is important. Um, I'll get to that later. So to like warm up for this session and also like keep my long distance running going, I run around three miles, about just over 5K before I go training, but like really slowly now and all that. There's a nice little loop around Granada, which I do. I'm gonna try and eat healthy. So that's what I do on Sundays, that I don't like to be full on, full on, full on, oh, healthy, 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 eating healthy, doing all this shit. You know, I like to have like a chocolate bar the odd time. Like I have, I have a really, really bad sweet tooth. I eat so much chocolate, but like I think I have to in a way. I don't want to uh, always be eating healthy. I'm just like everyone else, like I don't particularly like to run and I don't particularly like to be healthy. I just like the results of it, you know? That's Sandwich. We're having a little egg sandwich there, a bit of popcorn and a bit of chocolate, like I said, love a bit of chocolate. This is basically all we're going to eat until about five because I'm starting to warm up at about eight. So I'll have a big dinner around half four or five and then that'll be my energy for the training session. And I make sure when I'm doing the three mile run before this training session, I make sure to know that this is only a warm up so I don't do it fast. Like usually I can do a 5K under 20 minutes, but this time I'm just gonna bring it down. I'm gonna do it maybe in like 25 minutes, really slowly. But then when it comes to the training session, it's full on. Everything is, you know, unless the trainer says don't do it full pile absolutely every single part of the session is full pelt no matter what that's how you get better that's the plan anyway we're now rocking the gryffindor mug yeah it's typical really it's just started pissing rain you know the second i wanted to go for the walk if i'm bringing the camera with me if this gets wet that's the end of my life basically let's go
nearly done with our walk. Just found a nice quiet road, had to make sure there was no one fucking listening to me, that was embarrassing. Around a 4k loop around where I live. There's three loops around where I live. Goes 5k, another one then is 6k, and then another one is 10k. It's absolutely perfect for running because obviously, like whatever way I want to do it, I can be like, right, if I want to do a long run, I'll do the long loop first, then I'll go up and do the second loop. And also it's extremely hilly here as well. So that's why when I was in Netherlands, it was a bit of a disaster sometimes because there was, ah, there's no hills in the Netherlands. Like you're just like, you're fucking flat as you, as you get like, so. job done with the hurling uh, thank god on a bad day with her with pucking right i do probably only like two to five minutes like something really small like if i have a really busy day and i'm just not in the freaking mood i'd just do about five minutes not even like i'd set a timer five minutes uh, it just gives you more motivation to do it because you know it's going to be over like really quickly so like most days on average i probably like if on a good day i do about 15 minutes which i just done there we have our first league game i think uh this week on sunday so like i probably should be doing a bit more than that the big day is championship i'll try to do like at least half an hour maybe like two or three weeks before that every day that kind of way and focus please it's five o'clock. It's time to make dinner. It's gonna be nothing special. To be honest with you, on camera, it looks absolutely disgusting, but I promise you it actually tastes all right. Made pasta, then I literally just got like sun-dried tomato sauce, threw it on. That on its own is pretty bad, but then I add garlic granules and I add smoked paprika. I do like to make like creamy sauce, but like that's like bad for you to be completely honest with you. It's not the worst thing ever. It's better than like getting a takeaway or whatever. Time check, I'm just gonna get my phone out. It is nearly half five i've got time to kill now really i got all my editing done for the day which is fantastic harlan's done the these fucking fools barking that's what we're wearing first of all always repping amsterdam ga got um the full leggings uh repping the club obviously we're just about to take off i just made sure to put a high vis on because it's obviously dark it's now 10 past eight I said i i got here at eight but i said i'd hang on like 10 or 15 minutes because the last time i ran off at eight like it only took me like 25 to half an hour but like training wasn't on in for another half an hour so i was just sitting in the car then when I got out, I was freaking freezing. So I'm gonna wait maybe until 10 past 15 minutes and then I'll go because yeah, I'm not freezing my ass off again in the car. I don't know if you can see me, it's one mile done. To be honest with you, it's the easiest mile I'll ever do. That was all downhill. Now the next mile is all flat and the last mile is all uphill. So that's where the fun is gonna begin. Mile two is looking very good. I'm feeling very, very good. I'm just warm up usually, I'm like a bit sluggish. That's why it's so important to have a good meal. Good source of energy going in. Last mile went very well. Now we're just gonna have to tear into the hurling part. And my time management is doing very well. It's, it's about 10 minutes of training, so I won't be like sitting in the car freezing. Just gonna have a bit of that uh, Nature Valley Barn and then we're gonna head off and freaking do it. Very good training. I'm um, gonna say I definitely made a few mistakes, but I said the main thing was is that as long as I did everything a full pelt, unless he told us not to, then I'm happy and that's what I did. So yeah, great session. I uh, just had my have a more protein milk there and now i'm going to stretch sadly for 15 minutes yeah it was a great day yeah it's all it's all good now isn't it in the tilly in it this is tilly i don't think this is the first time you've seen her she is a collie and we got her because we felt like our other collie needed a friend because our old dog wants fucking nothing to do with him it's very funny but uh yes that's the crack now that's it really that's all i have for today i'll try and do these vlogs as much as i can but like there's only so much you can do because i do the same shit every single day you know anyway ladies and gentlemen i hope you enjoyed this vlog um please like and subscribe and i'll see you later have a good day and goodbye